Let me tell you my balance story. I remember it vividly. We'd just come out with and were pre-launching, if you will, the very first version of balance as it is currently personified. In fact, I think we called it complete, balance complete back in those days. And we were at an event, we were pre-launching it, and in those days we had a whole bunch of uh, testing machines that would be at the events. You get your thumb pricked and you get your cholesterol measured and other things like that. And I'm kind of glad we've moved on from those days because it sent a signal of you've got to have this skill set in this machine to do this business, which of course is not true. I do love the fact that the results are data-based and widely known and commonly understood. Nevertheless, I, I took my result, I did my test, got my result, and uh, my HDL, the good cholesterol, healthy, happy, came back at, you'll love this number, eight. Those of you watching this video know it should be baseline acceptable of 40. So I was a fifth of where I should have been. If it wasn't so serious, it would have been hilarious because the poor lady, the, the nurse practitioner that did that test, kind of followed me around the whole rest of the weekend, I think, expecting me to pass out or have a heart attack or a stroke or something, etc. But she, she sufficiently scared me that I need to do something about that. And here I was simultaneously assisting in the pre-launch of this product that fixes that problem. First one to do, first one of our versions to do that. And then I have the exact condition that requires that fix. And so I admit it, I went on a binge for the next six weeks. I was burping balance dust for six weeks. Took more than I should have. My naive assumption was if a little bit's good for you, then more of it must be better for you. There were some side effects to that in my life. But nevertheless, over six weeks, here's what happened. I went from a measurement of eight to a measurement of 48 over six weeks. In the years since, it's now settled about to the mid-60s. It bounces around a little bit, but uh, now I'm comfortably 50% above the threshold that is considered acceptable, whereas I was one-fifth below that, where one-fifth of that when I, uh, when I was first tested. It, because it was pre-launch, there wasn't much around. I used to remember sort of breaking into people's offices almost to get their free samples or bribing them with whatever I could to get a few more sachets or scoops of that particular product. It was a wonderful blessing to me because I was able to remedy what turns out to have been a family issue. Low HDL is an issue that runs in my family. I now have the solution for that. And I have my own data to validate and support and prove that point, let alone the passion that flows from that. Incidentally, I was able to go and re-get my insurance repriced because now I was preferred and was able to save more money each month on my insurance, my life insurance premiums, than I was paying for that box of balance going forward and that condition still exists today. Do I have a testimony of balance and it works? You bet I do. Do I know it works in my own life? You bet I do. Do others believe that? Most do because I think they feel that I have that passion for it and I can validate it with actual numbers and data. If they don't believe me, not my problem. I know it's true, I know it's accurate, I know that's my data, I know that's my story. Balance is a wonderful product that can be validated by third party, widely available, commonly understood diagnostic tests that everybody can get and everybody can understand, and we own that. That's my balance story.